Hey sports fans, it's Hip Hopper here, and uh, trying a little something different, showing my face on camera, so there you go. Anyway, um, we gotta go through this Season 23 EFC ban list, and it's pretty extensive, so don't do that, don't do that. Uh, let's get to it, shall we? Let's do it. So, um... First of all, uh, we got these guys here. You can um, these were all lowered one, two, or three zones. So all of these, so this first block of cards. I'm not going to read all these because because um, that's ridiculous. But uh, basically, all these guys got dropped one or two or three zones. So they got nerfed, basically, and I don't know why. I don't know why they're doing this now, after like 20, after twenty three seasons. You know, um, just seems kind of silly to me uh, that this is coming now. But whatever. Um, I guess they're trying to balance the mode. I mean, why isn't the mode balanced by now? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's been. You know, it's been. What. You know, 23 seasons, right? You would think it would be balanced by now, but apparently not. So all these, so, you know, Roderick, Shinobi, Blast, Shan, CR, Serafina, DR, Norton, CR, Griandi, etc. Uh, they all got, they all got nerfed. So, I don't know. Don't know why, but, I mean, well, I know why, but, I don't know. I don't know why now, you know what I mean? Anyway. Uh, now we go to the Z Palace changes, right? So we got, um, so Z Palace in, we have, uh, Ralph, um, let's see, Ralph, Ralph, okay, so Ralph is in, and Pame is out, okay, that's a nerf for, uh, for Fang P, obviously, and, um, then you got, Stompa in, Sukui out. Um, that's a buff for Frozen. Nice. And then, um, let's see, Hurakan gets uh, Mr. Poyo back in for El Papagayo. <laughs> okay, that's a big nerf. Big ol' nerf for Hurakan. Um, Ed 13 is in. Um, for La Junta and Floyd is out. Oh, okay, okay, hold on. Ed 13 and Wire are in for La Junta and Floyd and Arnie are out. Um on the surface to me that looks like that looks like a nerf personally. Um I mean Floyd's Floyd's like kind of a staple card for them right now. Um Wire is okay. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's, we're going to call that a nerf for now. We'll go down here and look here in a second and see, look at their reasoning or whatever for these. Um, so then you got, uh, let's see, then we got Edwin in for Hubert. That's obviously a buff for, for Nightmare because, um, you know, because Edwin you can use any time Hubert is reprisal, I think, um, and does less damage for that matter. So, uh, there's a buff for Nightmare. Lisbeth CR uh, is in, and Miss Lisbeth is out. That's a buff for Piranhas, so good for them. Uh, next, we have uh, Norma. Norma is in for PR Balthazar. That's a nerf for Riots, for sure. Um, then we have Snowflake in for Soapy Cat, a nerf for, uh, for Skeels. And then C. Arib, finally, C. Arib is in for T. Gank. And that's, um, I'd say that's a buff for, uh, for Vortex. And then, uh, then we have a bunch of Legends Reloaded here, and, um, 
and we'll look at them down here below. So, um, if you want more information regarding these changes, you can read the staff message in English here. We will, in a second. Um, we've also got some interesting news for you about EFC. Um, so there will be a new semi-evo card per clan. Um, to do this, we've selected rarely played Z Palace cards. So, so they gave each uh, each clan a new semi Evo card. Um, eh, I don't know about this because I mean, okay, a couple a couple of these are fairly new, like um, Shumi, Farah, um, Sir Lambda. Uh, but most of these are like are pretty old cards, so like mine are already leveled up. So having them go semi Evo now is just kind of like who cares, right? I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be using any of these semi Evo, uh, except like I said, maybe I think I might have an unleveled Farah. I don't think I've used her at all. Um, but honestly, that's like. Just looking over this list, that's like the only one, really. Um, you know, all these, I have all these other cards, but they're all leveled up. And just, you know, in case you don't know, my philosophy with um, semi-evos is I use them semi evo when I first get the card, you know, and then once they level up, then I just use them normally. Um, I don't like to buy, you know, I don't like to buy uh, unleveled cards and use them semi-evo every week to like, you know, I don't, for me personally, it's just not worth it to, to spend on cards like that and try to maintain their semi-evo status or whatever, right? So, um, so that, so that's, that's kind of my feelings here on these semi-evo cards. Um, I don't think it's going to be super useful for the majority of, of, of us players. Um, but, you know, if you're into uh, buying semi-evos and using them week after week, then, you know, go for it. That's, this is good for you, good news for you, right? Um, and then they say they've also restored semi-evo abilities to Bert, Massive, uh, Gina, Unagi and Warren. So uh, again, you know, big deal. Um, uh, but again, if you're if you're a big semi Evo user, then this is great news for you. Um, so um, what else? Uh, so these so those last five cards, Bert, Massive, Gina, and Unagi, and Warren. Um, since they're, they say that they're, they're in the lower EFC zones, so it's no longer an issue, and we can restore their original semi-evo status without present, that presenting any risk. Whatever, again, I, I don't think this is, um, that big, that big a deal. Um, And so then, so the other change here is um, leader cards. You can now play the last X leaders in Z Palace rather than the last four. I'm not sure what that means. Is that the last ten leaders? Um, the last X leaders. I don't know. Rather than the last four. So I, I assume that's greater than four, right? So you can use the last, some number higher than four liters in, uh, in Z Palace now. So, you know, that's good news if you're a big, uh, if you're a big, uh, leader fan. I don't play with a lot of leaders personally, but, um, you know, that's cool. Uh, it gives more options in Z Palace, so that's awesome. So, uh, let's just, let's go through here. Let's go, um, let's go to this, to the changes explication. 
I think they mean explanation. But the changes, season 23 changes explication. All right? So, um, so we'll read the rationale here. So, uh, all stars, they didn't really make any changes there. Uh, bangers, no changes. Berserk, um, the clan was rarely played. And they considered restoring Silvana or Xantiax Rob CR, but they didn't. Um, a new blood will be coming soon, I guess, to help the Berserk in Z Palace. Whatevs. Next, we got uh, Dominion, and this um, this is interesting. They considered uh, a buff to Wild Legend's ability. I was like, when I first saw that that Wild Legend was reloaded, I was like, oh, they must be they must be nerfing him, right? Because that guy's insane. Um, for a two star, he's got like some he's seriously insane abilities, but apparently. Uh, they're raising his max from 13 to 14, so he's even he's even more uh, crazy now. Um, but again, lot, not a lot of people have him, I don't think. So, you know, that's negligible. Um, and then they may buff Lord Un Legend as well next time around, um, giving him um, a buff to his damage from five to six. So we'll see. Fang P, um, we already talked about that. They got rid of Palme and put in Ralph. So um, they nerfed Fang P. And um, oh, they're, they're say, they say they're going to modify D Dokuja Legend. Um, no one's ever used Dokuja Legend because she's just lame, I guess. Um, so. They say that there's a new, um, a new strong five star for Fang P coming out, and that they will modify Dokuja to support that card, whatever that card is. So, whatever. Uh, Dokuja's been lame ever since they first released her. So, I don't know. We'll see what they do to her. Anyway, no change to Freaks, um, except a new blood is coming for Freaks soon to help. Uh, help buff them, I guess. Next, we got Frozen. Um, they they got Stompa instead of Sukui. So again, they got buffed. That was good for them. No change to Geist, Ghost Town, or Hive. Uh, Huracan lost El Papagayo for... Um, for... Uh, what's his name? El Mr. Poyo. So... That's a big nerf for them, and uh, to compensate for that, though, they, they buffed Booga Baga Legend's ability from a min 2 to a min 1, so he has poison min 1 now instead of min 2. Um, actually, I think it's toxin, if I remember correctly. Anyway, um, so he got a little buff to kind of counteract that. No one's going to use El, El Pop, or... Uh, Mr. Poyo. So, anyway, that's kind of an interesting change to Huracan. Um, let's see, Jungo, um, Excess Legend got a little, got nerfed a little bit from plus three life to plus two life. So, if you're a Jungo user, um, you got, you got a, what? You got a nerf. You got nerfed. And, um, what else did they do? Let's see, they... Oh, they banned Jennifer from there as well. Holy cow. Um, oh, no, they didn't. No, they, oh, they were decide, trying to decide between the two. So instead of, nerf, uh, instead of banning Jennifer, they nerfed Excess Legend, is what they did. So, slight, slight nerf for... Uh, for Jungo, that's fine. I personally don't play a lot of Jungo, but that's just me. Um, so Junks, they changed Travis Legend. This is kind of interesting. They changed him from a um, from a five five with minus eight 
damage min 2 to a 1 5 okay a 1 5 with minus 6 opponent power and damage min 2 so his uh, his DR got nerfed a little bit from minus 8 to minus 6 um, but I don't know he's kind of like a he's kind of like a rapow now you know the card uh, uh, Rapal with root from roots. He's like a one power with like minus seven opponent power. So he's kind of like a Rapal now, which I don't know. Um, I've never used Rapal much. I have fought him a couple times, and he is kind of difficult to fight. Um, so, um, so I'd say Travis. I guess he got kind of a buff. Um, obviously, SOA is going to destroy him now. But it's not like he was super powerful against SOA before that anyway. Um, so it's kind of interesting. Uh, we'll, we'll see how that see how that pans out. And uh, so Junk's got a little buff, I guess. La Junta. Um, they say they were av it was an, they were average in the ranking, and they got a slight buff. So I don't know. I don't know if this is a. I don't know if I would say this is a slight buff or not, because they lose Floyd, who's like super key, super amazing key card. Um, they lose Floyd and Arnie for Ed thirteen and Wire. Um, I don't think Ed thirteen is that much better than than Arnie necessarily. I don't know. I guess he's a little better, um, and Wire's decent. You know, SOA is always nice. But, I don't know, man. Losing Floyd? Eh. You know, and Arnie, and Arnie can fork, which is nice for Lahunta, because they all, they all have a lot of damage. Um, I don't know. They, they say that... Um, they're saying here that this should make them stronger. We'll see. Uh, Montana. So... Um, they changed, uh, what did they do to Bella? Let's see. Oh, they changed her ability from, from SOB, uh, stop bonus, to cancel opponent power and damage. So she's, so she's still a 5-6, but now she cancels a po opponent power and damage mod. So, um, yeah, that's definitely a buff for her. Um, I don't know how much of a buff. We'll see. Um, you know she's still a five six, but you know she's got she's got the Montana bonus. So um, I imagine she'll see more play now. Definitely, cancel power and damage mod is a is a really nice ability, very powerful. So um, so yeah, Montana got a little buff. So that's cool. Um, let's see nightmare. Yeah, they switched Edwin in for Hubert, so that's 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 a good buff for them. Um, and then Piranha's got the good Lisbeth and lost the bad Lisbeth, so Lisbeth CR in for Miss Lisbeth. That's nice for them. Pussycats, Raptors, Rescue, no, no changes there. Riots. Um, let's see. Blah 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 blah. Um, so, uh, so they lost PR Balthazar, which which hurts them in the short run. But apparently they're getting a new riots, uh, a new five star in a new five star new blood soon. So that should help them out, I guess. Um, but sad to see PR Balthazar go, right? So, uh, Roots, what happened to them? Um, I guess Bakuda Legend got bumped up from a 6-2 to a 6-3. Big whoop. Um, I don't think anyone uses Bakuda Legend that much, but, uh, but he got a little buff. So, there you go. No change to Sacrum and Sentinel. Skeels uh, lost Soapy Cat and got uh, what's her face? 
weather witch. Um, uh, again, that was a that was a nerf for them. Uluwatu didn't change. Uppers um, apparently they're getting a uh, a new blood that's going to help them out. We'll see. And last but not least, my friends, it's Vortex. They got um, they got Ciarib again instead of T Gank. So um, so that that's a, that's a buff for them. Um, and that I think brings us to the end. So there you go, guys. Um, uh, a lot of changes, and uh, again, I I think it's kind of weird that they're trying to that they have to rebalance everything. Um, you know, this late, you know, twenty three seasons in. Um, I guess I guess it's kind of a complex game mode, and they're just gonna have to do this from time to time. But uh, it's a shame it can't run a little more smoothly. Um, anyway, there we go. A lot of changes. Uh, good luck out there in EFC mode, my friends. And um, I hope this helped out a little bit. And if so, please like and subscribe. And tell all your friends and ring the friggin' bell. And uh, I am Hip Hoppa. And this has been Hoppa's Hip Tips. And I thank you all for joining me. And uh, we will. Uh, you can check out my um, today's EFC video right here. And I will see you again tomorrow for some hot EFC action, my friends. See you then.